Hello, my friends. Welcome to January 1st, 2020. Happy New Year. Um, I'm here with some friends. We're hanging out. We're planning our year. And I wanted to give you three quick takeaways that have really helped me have amazing, amazing years. Number one is having an accountability buddy, someone that you talk to once a week or once a month. You tell them, this is what I'm going to do this week. And at the end of the week, they say, did you do it? If you did it, then you're good to go. You get a reward. And if you didn't do it, then you have to pay them money. That's the best way to get things done, in my opinion. It's kind of funny, but I love doing it. I've done it with multiple friends. You know, it helps you you know, get over things that you don't want to be doing. Also really helps you accomplish things that you want to do because, you know, you don't want to pay your friends money. So that's the first one. The second one I have for 2020 to really get your goal set is to create a yearly mantra. My friend over here, Abe, and I, we've been doing yearly mantras for a long time. It's basically you write down what you want your year to feel like, what you want it to be like. You say it every single day before you go to bed. Uh, I've done this for like three years straight now. Every single night, no matter what, you say your mantra, and it's pretty amazing what happens. It's like magic. You say something every day, and somehow your mind keeps redirecting and redirecting and redirecting throughout the year, and it actually ends up becoming the theme of that year. It's kind of like writing a chapter in your book of your life. That's what that chapter's theme is, <clears throat> and I really think that this is a magical special way to get your year off to right to a good start then the third one that i have is the idea of circling a date in your calendar and just asking for magic okay in 2020 if you want something to happen i challenge you to simply circle a day in the calendar that you want something to happen and then just ask for magic ask for it to happen ask for things to fall into place i've had some of the most surreal experiences happen in my life where I've just gotten goosebumps, waves of joy, so happy. I've smiled for weeks at a time until my cheeks were sore because I circled the calendar on a day and said that something was going to happen and then didn't like try and try and try to make it happen, but instead just let life happen. You know, I still took the actions on a daily basis, but I did it from a place of I'm looking for the magic. Let's see where it comes and just kind of feel it out. So hopefully one or two or all three of these things can be something that uh, you implement in your 2020 to make this one of the most magical years of your life. Number one is get an accountability buddy and possibly pay them if uh, you don't accomplish what you say you would for that week or that month. Two is creating a mantra that you speak every single day for the entire year. And third is circling a date in your calendar with a goal and asking for magic. Have a really amazing 2020. And if you guys have any interest in planning your 2020s or building your dream business, um, feel free to go to Nathan.tv. I have a brand new program that I've put my heart and soul into to help you plan your best life, your dream life, plan your dream business and make 2020 an amazing year. And of course, get money, get funding so you can start it and do it from a place of abundance and not of scarcity. One love. Connect soon.